Hello, my name is Miss Jameson and I'm Head of Art at Alderweird School and I'm here just to talk you through uh, any questions and queries that you might have about the A-level Art, Craft and Design course. First thing I would get you to do is just think about why you enjoy art, what is it about the subject? If you were here I would ask you to explain it but you're not so but just think for yourself what's your favourite piece of artwork, what sort of um, uh, media are you interested in? Do you like painting? Do you like sculpture? Are there any particular artists that you like? We really like you to sort of think about that before you come so that you're forming an opinion on the sort of artworks that you're most interested in. Okay, um, you can see here it is A level art, craft, and design. It's the Edexcel exam board. It's very similar. If you've done AQA or a different exam board in the past or at GCSE, um, you will probably go through the same assessment objectives. It'll be a very similar process. And the art, craft and design element is really, uh, it just gives us the option to use any materials that we wish to. Entry requirements. Um, you should have obtained a level seven at GCSE. Uh, the sort of student that we're looking for is someone who is committed, conscientious, um, independent, um, has an inquiring mind, is willing to be creative and to take risks. That's the sort of student that we're looking for. Um, Enthusiasm is really important. Visual awareness, um, being observant and looking out for things and uh, being interested in current affairs, those are things are really important. Also having competent uh, use of English language is essential and the written element, there is a written element in the course which um, you've got to write an essay in year 13. So it's essential that you can um, write competently. Um, Again, you should be asking yourself, why should I do A-level art? Um, most of you might have made the decision that you want to do it anyway, but the sort of person, again, that we're looking for is someone who enjoys making art. Do you have a desire to communicate with your artwork? Um, are you interested in giving your message and or your, your audience a message? Um, you must also enjoy visiting galleries, museums. You know, that sort of passion for the subject should be there um, before you join the course. Uh, the sort of skills that you will develop on the course, uh, you will gain a lot of confidence, a lot of independence as well. Um, things also that are transferable to other jobs in the future, teamwork, creative thinking, problem solving, all of those things you can take into any job that you choose to go into in the future. Um, how will you learn? The emphasis of the course is really you developing your own ideas. We like you to look at both historical and contemporary um, artwork. We're open to both. Um, things that you will explore. We cover drawing, painting, printmaking. We do a bit of textile work, mixed media, photography, sculpture. Uh, we're interested in uh, installation art as well. And the lessons you will find will be very diff different to your other subjects. They will be group discussion. They will be one to one tutorials. And it's really um, giving you constant feedback to help you get where you want to be. And as I said before, there's an important written component to the coursework, and that's the essay, which supports your practical work. In year 13, you will choose your own theme and your essay will support that theme. You're also going to be required to work independently, making use of your work periods and um, spending time in our art studio. Assessment and exams, again, as I said before, um, the assessment criteria are very similar to um, the GCSE, which are recording, and that's drawing, taking photographs, that sort of thing. Idea development, informed by your artists. Experimentation with materials, and then as a result of that, producing a final outcome. You'll be very used to doing that at GCSE. At A-level, it's a bit of a step up. We expect you to be um, looking deeper and wider your research will certainly widen um, and obviously your final outcome will be of a higher quality. Uh, in terms of how it's marked, 60% is coursework and that includes your essay, as I said before, and 40% is the external exam, which is set by the exam board. Um, throughout the course, we do try to get you out of school as much as possible and where that is possible. We go to a lot of local galleries, London galleries, uh, exhibitions to inspire your work. We also try and get you life drawing sessions as soon as we can in year 12.
the advantages of studying at Waldegrave should you wish to come along. We have an art studio which is dedicated to A-level students and you also have access to our professional photography studio and art students very often use that. We encourage students to be experimental. You can use whatever materials you wish to, both 2D and 3D. Uh, we do have a kiln, so if you feel that you want to use clay, you're certainly welcome to do that. Um, the other difference is our class sizes are small in comparison to some of the other colleges. So you will receive a lot more guidance and support from your teachers. And if you feel that you need that one to one element and that guidance, that extra guidance, we are here to do that. The uh, other thing is our exam results are excellent. Last year we had 100% A star to B grades. These are a few slides of year 13 work and I've put them in here really just to show you um, the materials that are there for you to be using and what the, some of the outcomes have looked like. So this first piece was a sculpture and it was probably over six foot tall, large scale piece, and it explores the theme of free speech within journal, journal, journalism. Um, and you can see there it's mixed media piece these tights are filled with, with uh, foam, they're uh, representing the human body, and then we've got these little faces of the journalists, and they're done in, um, they're made in super sculpting. Um, this is a, again, quite a large scale piece, and it is responding to the theme of restriction, charcoal and chalk. Um, oil pastel, oh, sorry, oil pastel work, this is inspired by the theme of mixed race relationships. And the student actually produced this piece of work on her parents. And um, this is a mindfulness pod, and it was in response to our very fast changing world that we live in. And it was really a space where you went to sit inside it and you meditated. And it's constructed with willies and tissue paper. Again, quite a large scale piece, probably about six foot tall. So we're not sort of restricting what size you want to work on. This piece is, again, if you just want to do painting, that's absolutely fine. Um, this piece was inspired by the student's experience of um, exploring different cultures and the food within those cultures. Um, we have set you uh, five tasks to do over the summer. And I just wanted to show you some examples. Um, you don't have to follow this exactly or how it's laid out. It's up to you. This is just a suggestion and it is up to you to um, present your work in whatever way you want to. We don't have a house style here. We work to your, your strengths, whatever you enjoy using, however you want to present your work, it's totally up to you. Um, task two, sorry, task one, sorry, is a title page and it's uh, in response to the theme human boundaries. This is task two and it is a spider diagram, again, in response to the theme human boundaries. And my advice here is to get as many ideas on that page as possible. This student has also collected some artwork that she has decided to put in there as well. Task three and four is a written response and a copy of an artist's work. And you can see here how she has presented that. Really, it's just you writing your thoughts about the artist's work doing a little bit of analysis on there and um, then doing a copy of the work. And then this task, task five, we ask you to take photos in response to the theme. These tasks are in more detail on the website, so you can go and have a little look there um, just to show you them and, and to give you a little bit more detail in the instruction. Um, just thinking beyond the course, uh, the majority of our students who study with us do go on to follow creative pathways, go to university to take creative subjects. Um, if you decide to go to find it, go on to a foundation course, we will support you with the application process and also creating your uh, own portfolio. Uh, many of our students have gone off to study Art Foundation at St. St. Martins, Camberwell, Kingston. They've gone lots, lots of different places. We've also had students go straight into fine art photography, architecture, art history degree courses as well. Um, I've just put this on here just to get you thinking about the future as well and showing you how many careers there are um, 
available to you once you complete your art foundation or your art A-level course. Um, there's 150 examples here. There's probably more than this now, to be quite honest. Um, it's a it's a growing create the, the creative industry is growing. Um, in fact, it's the fastest growing part of the UK economy, and most employers are now adding creative thinking um, as a highly sought after attribute. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for watching this video. If you've got any questions, could you please email sixthform at waldergrave.org and um, they will pass any questions on to me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, I hope you have a good summer and I look forward to seeing you in September um, if you're going to join us at Waldergrave. Okay, thank you. Bye.